Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Stephen. Live life. Live fully. Steven, welcome to Live Well Lived by Mobile Steven. I'm a freak for the mindset thing because I've come to understand the importance, you know, and the power behind having or developing a positive mindset. Do you know that your thoughts, your words, and feelings are shaping your world? Do you know that? Absolutely. Now, with me on today's show is Kathleen Jane Shapiro. She's a psychical and alchemist and healer and a business expansion guide who will be doing justice to this discussion on mindset and the power of our words, our thoughts, and our feelings. So, welcome with me on Live Well Lived by Mobile Steven, Jane, and Kathleen Shapiro. Welcome. Hello, and thank you so much for this honor. I appreciate it so much. How are you on this beautiful and incredible day? Thank you so much for coming around. Kathleen works with women to help them understand the impact they have on their business and how they can achieve greater success by coming into balance within themselves. She achieved this by her psychic abilities, a business experience, and healing background. So welcome once again with me on Live Wally Bamopolis team, Kathleen Jenny Shapiro. That's awesome. Well, today I'm delighted to be able to share about mindset with you. And people don't understand, don't look at the word mindset as how are you setting your mind? Where are you setting your mind? And where was your mind set for you? And this comes from our parents. It comes from our society and it comes from our environment. And something that I've come to believe is and come to really understand is there's actually no wrong and no right. It's what is the truth for you. And it doesn't mean to say that just because your parents believed it and just because your teachers and educators believed it, that it's a true belief. And this is where mindset comes from. It also comes from the fact that up until the age of seven, we have no filters and we just take everything in, everything without any idea of where it's coming from and it sets our mind without the understanding of what was going on how it was going on and my mother always used to say to me Janine you march to a different drummer because I always used to see things very differently to other people I didn't know at that time that it's because I was seeing things and hearing mm. things other people weren't seeing and hearing. Mm. And uh, that caused some very interesting moments in our mm. life. Mm. My mom also had this gift. However, we grew up in a very conservative society. Mm. And while you could use the word, oh, they're intuitive, you mm. could never say that, wow, this person um, understands things at a deeper unseen level. Mm. People would not have accepted that. That's and true. Hence, we all have thoughts, we mm. all have feelings, yeah. and we create with them because right. it's energy. It's mm. like we are being able to speak to each other across a, a continent because of the energetic transfer of sound, of picture. Right. Right. That's what happens with our thoughts. We so are transferring thoughts at the same time as we are speaking and seeing each other. And okay. that is why our thoughts create we then shape it with our words mm. imagine that <laughs> right right so um i understand that um thoughts words and feelings are shaping our world absolutely so um it also determines the successes and failures in life because it is said that um what you give out is what you're given so you give out positive energy you attract so can you just um discuss a bit about it Definitely, because everything in life is energy. The chair right. we're sitting on is energy. Everything is made up of molecules and space. And if you are by, it's like color. This is fuchsia pink, and I think you're wearing blue, if I'm correct. You're wearing right. blue. Yeah. Each color is a different energy. So wow. your color looks one way, my color looks another way. 
And so if I'm vibrating at pink and you're vibrating at blue, mm -hmm. we're not going to connect. However, mm. if I go to the vibration of blue, we mm. will connect with each other. And that is how thoughts work. Uh, we connect, we see pictures. Everybody sees pictures. You might hear words, but you see with pictures. And those pictures create, and I just realized I forgot what you asked me to share. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just no, I just wanted to uh, I wanted to, to expatiate on that that um you know our thoughts and words and feelings you know yeah. they determine most of the outcomes of our life or all the outcomes of our life. So I just wanted to to expatiate on that. That's it, and that's because it was because it works like a magnet. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is working at a higher vibration, they're happy that because they've measured the energy. When somebody feels happy, they've measured the energy of it. And they've given it a hertz value. I think mm -hmm. it's a hertz value, but they've given it a, a value. So if you're working at a happy value and somebody's working at a they're feeling shame value, you're working at different values, a different wavelengths, different energies. So you're not necessarily attracted, you're actually repelled from that person. Mm -hmm. And that is how it works. If you are consistently condemning, criticizing, and complaining and comparing, People who don't do that don't wish mm. to associate with you. And mm. there's a very true point. Mm. What you give focus to grows. Where mm. energy goes, where emotion mm. goes, energy flows. Where energy flows, emotion goes, and you create from that level. So if you are constantly working in a critical, condemning, comparing, and um, criticizing, condemning, and complaining energy, you are going to get more of that because mm. that is where your energy is. That is what you are growing. Mm. Whereas if you say, all right, this has happened. It wasn't, didn't feel so great. Let me shift my energy. Let me shift how I'm feeling. And that's right. what I help the clients to do, shift those feelings inside of them with their thoughts and with their feelings and to watch what they're saying about it. Mm. Remind me to come back to that. It literally will bring other people who do the same. It will bring mm. more to complain about. Mm. It will bring more to condemn. It will bring mm. more to criticize. Mm. And that is how what you sow, you reap. Because if you That's sow right. that, you focused on it, and it just brings more of that to you. Whereas mm. if you say, okay, this has happened. How can I overcome this? Where can I move through this? Mm. It's like the energy says, okay, they're happy to move through it. Let mm. me help them. Let me open the path. And I have something, a phrase that I use. Mm. Hmm. What are the infinite possibility, possibilities of something greater coming about? So what I'm doing is I'm asking a question, which allows my brain to work. It allows my heart to work. And it allows infinite possibilities to come out of it. Mm. I have learned, though. I have learned. I avoid the question, why? Because when you ask why, it creates a loop and you get more of the same. Mm. You've got young children. What happens when they start with why? Do you ever get to the end of it? No. No. It's a loop. So now mm. I ask when, where, what, with whom, what, what's the potential reason for this? Mm. How can we make it better? Because by asking those questions, we shift that balance of energy and we create more expansively. Whereas when you create in a constricted way, you're going to get constricted creation. And mm. as you get constricted creation, there's no room to grow. Mm. If you can't grow, it's like, to give a very practical example, if somebody has a head injury, your brain is solid. And when your brain starts swelling, there's nowhere for it to go except through the back of your neck. And that's not a good option. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we do when we put out the very low vibrational words like stupid. Um, you are, you know, words that demean people or thoughts that are demeaning of self, situations mm -hmm. and others. And the minute mm -hmm. we do that, or I'll never do that, or I can't do that. My children learned they did not use the word can't. They would mm -hmm. use the word how can I do that? Um, mm -hmm. Could you please help me to do that? Who could I ask for help? Mm -hmm. Do I have the skills for this or do mm -hmm. I ask somebody else? But like um, Emoji Moto, 
he did study, there's a Japanese gentleman that did studies with water and crystals. And you would speak a certain word like hate or anger or bitterness mm -hmm. over the water. And instead of having nice neat, neat crystals, they, have you seen it? It's jagged mm -hmm. and it's awful. Have you seen those pictures? It's horrible. Mm -hmm. And right. that is what you are doing. And that is why you create more jaggedness, less mm -hmm. flow in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm, right. That's a very deep. Thank you so much for that exposure. Now, as an alchemist, you know, can how can you disrupt you know a faulty mindset or um, um negative belief system? All right. There's never a faulty mindset. Mm. I understand what you're saying because I also mm. believe that, but it's a mindset mm. that empowers or a mindset that constricts. And mm. what I help my clients to do is to become aware of what they are thinking what they are feeling and how they are saying it. To give you an example, I have an exercise where you use your body as a pendulum. And normally, yes, forward is yes, back is no. And uh, this lady was testing it and she said yes, and she went backwards. And I said to her, she said, but that's strange because we both knew the answer is yes. I said, what were you thinking as you asked the question? And she was thinking as she asked it, oh, am I standing correctly? And she wasn't. So her body said no to her thoughts before it said yes to her words. And that is the power of the energy of our thoughts and how we create. And for me, that was just such a profound example. So it's to help my clients understand what they are thinking. Now, here's a concept for your audience, um, mm. uh, you have children, so you'd understand That's this right. as well. Mm. I say to my clients, are you aware that a good 90% of what you are thinking, mm. what you are feeling, does mm. not belong to you? You are right. picking it up energetically from mm. other people. Mm. You are thinking somebody else's thoughts. You are taking mm. on somebody else's worries. Mm. Now, yes, there has to be a hook inside of yourself to possibly draw it that's right so you could be an empath you could have had a similar experience mm. and I always say to my clients just take a deep breath in mm. and say whose is this mm. and your body normally feels much lighter and here's a hint even if it doesn't because when it's heavier it's yours and you need to go and work you should mm. go, you never need anything you go and you work through it. So you come to my, a person like myself and we help you work through it, or I give you tools to work through it, and that's how we do it. And then you say, this is the important thing, you say, return to sender with consciousness attached, and you let it go away. And people just feel so light. Some people, because they've been tapping into their spouse or their children or other people's thoughts, for so long or receiving them because we are a sender and a receiver of energy mm. of thoughts and of feelings and uh, sometimes you have to say it a couple of times who's is this return to sender of consciousness mm. so if you're concerned about something or you're worrying about something i always say to my clients stop breathe ask whose is this Return to center of consciousness and then go and sort out why, why, what the potential was, not why, what was the potential of you choosing to receive that thought? Were you distracted? Had you slept enough? Had you done your praying, your meditating, your calming? Had you gone out and done something in nature just to ground yourself? What exactly is going on in your life? So that is how we regulate our mindset. We check in, is it our thought? Is it our belief? Is it what something that is a truth for us? If not, we turn to sender and let's see how we can work with it. Now, right. uh, to give you an example, when my nose itches, it means somebody who's going to be watching this uh, mm. is resisting what I'm saying. And that's okay because mm. we are laying seeds. We are tilling the ground. We're laying seeds so that when the person requires the information, they will be open to it. And that right. is another way of working with your mindset. Because right. have you ever walked past somebody that you don't expect to be somewhere? So like you go to the supermarket and you're not yeah. used to seeing this person in the supermarket yeah. and you walk straight past them because you didn't see them because you don't mm. expect them to be there. That's, That's right. what thoughts are like. You will mm. keep walking 
you past a better thinking mm. feeling thinking mm. feeling because you haven't expected to have it you haven't experienced mm. it and that is how i help my clients check in with the thought check in with the feeling because you may not be seeing it because you're not aware that it's there does that make sense it does man thank you so much it's been like well Stephen, and I've been on the show with Kathleen Jenin Shapiro, who is a healer, a psychic, and also a business uh, um, development coach um, guide. And so she's been taking us to um, the topic uh, I titled Mindset and Working on Your Thoughts, Your Feelings, and Your Words. It's been an interesting time on this talk show. So I wanted to ask this is a very important question, which has um, been bugging my mind for a while now. So, can we talk about the chemistry of change? Oh, my favorite topic. People mm. run away from change. They run mm. away from it like crazy. They're scared of it mm. because they expect to make huge steps forward. And what they don't understand is when you do one small step at a time. So instead of changing your mindset 300 uh, degrees, you change it one degree at a time. You don't have to throw everything out. Mm. And the chemistry of change is because awareness of your thoughts and your feelings creates a mm. chemistry in your body and it can either block you from change or mm. it can create change mm. everything is always changing your change. body's changing you're a new person several times in a year mm. from a cellular level if you haven't changed what you believe about things mm. how you feel about things how you do things guess what you're staying stuck in a rut because there's always mm. new ways of, yes, there's normal basic frameworks. Mm. But that chemistry of change is so powerful because mm. you look and you say, okay, what is the change I'm being asked to work with? Mm. And I will often say to my clients, tap into your body, tap into your business. Ask yourself, body, what would you like to eat today? And let me mm. tell you, body will tell you. Body, right. what would you like me to wear today? And you'll mm. just have a picture of an outfit come, or you'll just mm. your hand will go out in your cupboard. Now, obviously, if you've only got three tops, you've got far less choice, which takes far less energy than if you've got a cupboard full. Um, mm. So I, I know people like my daughter, they color code their clothes and they ask, which color would you like to wear mm. today to simplify it? That's mm. the chemistry of change. Mm. You are using your intuition, you are using your knowledge, you're using mm. your experience to gain more experience. And the chemistry right. of change is having experiences to gain experience. And that right. allows your body to recognize the person in the shop to yeah. recognize the thoughts that are holding you back, those limiting beliefs, so that right. you can move beyond being stuck, so that you can create change in a way that's comfortable. Because right. if people right. are too uncomfortable, they won't mm. change. They will right. They mm -hmm. actually cannot change because their body goes, danger, danger, danger. <laughs> and uh, so then the body shuts down. Whereas mm. if you look at the chem, like when you bake a cake, you don't put everything in the bowl, like you put mm -hmm. the eggs in with this hand and the milk in with this mm -hmm. hand. You put mm -hmm. in the eggs, you blend the eggs mm -hmm. with the milk, mm -hmm. and you blend the baking powder with the flour, mm -hmm. and then you combine it. And that is the mm -hmm. chemistry of change. Mixing mm -hmm. the baking powder and the flour of your thoughts mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the eggs and the milk of your feelings so that then your word can be like the oven and create the change in your life. You can then create pictures in your mind of what you would like and not of what you are visually seeing. So, mm. for example, if you would like to be, um, what can I, I was going to use for myself, I visualize myself at a certain uh, size every day. And through that, when I go to reach for something, I hear my body saying, ah, 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 that's not going to help us with our 54 kilos, size 34. And, uh, oh, yes, thank you. Or well, what would you like? And then we go there. It's those small subtleties in life that help us create the chemistry of change. And one small change every day with what with envisioning what you would like, where you, where you would, would like to be. And that is why I now am able to live up here in Gauteng and mm. down on the Western Cape. Because I mm. found myself running at the coast. Mm. I would see myself running at the coast. I felt the wind of the coast. And mm. I wound up living at the coast. I envisioned having a sea view. I haven't got that yet. I haven't stopped envisioning it. And right. in December, 
we had to move where we went in. And guess what? We have a sea view. That is a chemistry of change. Using your thoughts to see the picture of what you would like. Taste it, feel it, touch it. If you would like more in your business, you envision your clients on your register. You see them, you go and make space in your calendar for them. And on your Google or iCalendar, you go and make space. That is the chemistry of change. You Thank are putting you so your focus in, you're putting your energy in. Wow. How does it get any better than this? Oh, wow. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. So I wanted to ask, eh, do you have any project you're working on? I do. I oh. have a four-month uh, program called the Success Spiral. It's called okay. the Alchemy for Change program, where we use um, the alchemy of change. We oh. leverage that chemistry of change to create more in our life. And oh. we do this by looking at how can you be more effortlessly? Because I don't know about you, but if somebody comes to me and says, be more, I go, what? You want me to add more to my life? I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. No, you choose to be that effortlessly. And then you can say yes to things that will take you where you would like to go. And you can use no as a complete sentence. It helps you to create more consciously because very often we creating and we're not aware of what we're creating and when we get it we say i didn't order this where did this mm. come from and meanwhile it's because we weren't conscious of what we were creating mm. and then i help people to know more intuitively because right. we have everything inside of ourselves mm. and right. especially as ladies it's right. tapping to that power and that magic inside of ourselves we all have magic inside of ourselves. That's mm. our power. Your magic is doing these wonderful, informative podcasts. Yeah. Uh, that is magic. It's so mm. incredible. That's the energy of creation. Thank and you. To choose more intuitively. Choose more intentionally. Right. So right. I make the choice. Am I going to have a second piece of chocolate cake? Mm. Or am I rather going to go and have a glass of water? Mm. Sometimes I'll have the second piece. Sometimes I'll have the glass of water. Mm. I do it intentionally. Right. With intent. Right. Because when you have intent, that's where your focus is. And that's when right. You choose with focus. Wow. Remember what I said before? What you mm. focus on grows. So yes. when you intentionally, you are able to focus what it is you're choosing. Thank you so much for coming around on the show. So, and I thank you for your um, professional uh, insight, you know, about uh, this mindset of a thing. I wanted to ask, what is your parting word? I mean, do you have any parting word? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you have any parting word? Any? Any parting word? Pass, yes. Wow. Go out there and trust yourself. Mm. Trust yourself and create. Every day, ask, how where, with who, with what, can I create more today than yesterday? Because we live in a world of creation and let's use right. to create more love, more peace, more caring, more compassion, and more expansion. Great. Thank you so much for coming around on the show. I hope that's for some other time we can do this again. Oh, that would be wonderful. And thank you for your thank beautiful you. questions. Thank and you I so hope much. you have an incredible day. Thank you so much. And so much. Thank you so much. Um, it's been live only by mobile or saving. And so some other time we can do this again. Until then, I need you to stay safe always. And remember to live life and live it fully. It's bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabala Stephen. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life well lived by Amabala Stephen. Live life. Live fully.